You know, David Manning made a video a few weeks ago where he was talking about taking photos over making videos in your travel you know, journeys. And I actually wanted to make a video on this exact same topic, but the other way around. So recently we came home from our trip in Malta. And when we were going there, I said to myself, you know what, this time around, I'm actually going to make a video and not take too many photos. Because as a photographer, I have a real issue taking family photos on our family trips, which is kind of ironic, but I guess that, you know, you can probably relate with this if you're a photographer. So typically I'm always looking for some interesting compositions, how the light looks, how the atmosphere is and things that kind of make up this whole artistic way of photography. But then I tend to forget about the simple things like taking family photos. So this is why for this little vacation, I've decided that I'm gonna make a YouTube video that's going to be on YouTube, well, forever, I mean, 20 years from now, I can look at that video and say, well, first of all, how young I was. <laughs> and you now I can have this whole narrative of this one week trip, which I think is better than just taking photos of that one week. You know, so this is the topic that I want to talk to you guys about today. And I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments about your holiday trips and how you document them. Do you take photos, do you do videos, or do you do both? Now, I find it really hard to do video and photo because, you know, I'm just a one guy and it's hard to capture the moment in a still photograph. But also to make a video, I try to do my best as I'm trying today here at Vilica Planina. Honestly, I only took, I think, two photographs. Everything else was video because I wanted to keep it, you know, in this topic of today. So just video over photo. You know, but that David Manning video really got me thinking. You know, he was really excited about this new camera that he got and well, the camera does take wonderful photos and David is a wonderful photographer. You know, but the photographs that he and we capture in our holiday trips are just, you know, like a one frame. And if it's a long time ago, you know, it's really hard to remember the feelings and the atmosphere there. So for me, having a video instead of a one single frame of every location is, I don't know, I just find it more amusing. And one interesting topic that he also mentioned and that I was thinking about as well is, I mean, if you're married, you typically have, you know, wedding photos and you have a wedding video. And honestly, you know, how many times do you look at the video versus how many times do you open up your photo album from a wedding? And I think honestly, you look at photos more often than you watch a video. But for a holiday, you know, it's, it's different. You know, it's not a long video. It's like five, six minutes long, maybe 10. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, for a wedding, I mean, like traditional wedding videos are typically very long, everything's recorded and yeah, you don't watch that. It's easier to watch you know, photos in an album. No, but I think that for a holiday, making a video just kind of makes more sense. I don't know, I mean, I know I'm going to watch that Malta video in the future because it's going to stay there, as I said, forever. I mean, as long as YouTube is running, which is, well, so anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, it was nice talking to you again, although I was doing all the talking and you can do the talking down through the comments. So let me know what you think about this topic, you know, photo versus video on you know, vacations. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the like button for the algorithm. It really does help. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.